Welcome to 10 Minute Monday. I'm so excited you joined me today because if you have built your own website, you know that you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to do things. And that will add a lot more time to building your site than you had planned on. And that's exactly what happened to me last week. I needed to do two things that used to take me just a few seconds to do. And one was centering a button and the other one was creating an anchor link, also known as a jump link. And so instead of spending a few minutes, I spent nearly an hour trying to figure both of these things out. So why did it take so long? Well, because I was working with the newly updated WordPress block editor, and the old way of doing things just didn't work. I could not find the information online either because my search results kept bringing up old and outdated information. And you can see here that even though 2019 does not appear to be such an old date, it really was because the latest version of WordPress, the update came out just a few weeks ago on April 29, 2020. So these dates, 2019, they just didn't have the information that I was looking for. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to center a button. And you'll see that there is the buttons on the left hand side and I got it to go in the center. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is how to create an anchor link and also known as a jump link. And that's, for example, I happen to create an anchor link in that someone would click on this link, this button, and it would take them to a section of the page. It would literally jump down to the section of the page. So let's get started. So I'm on a page of the site, and as you can see, this button here is not centered. It's to the left. And I definitely wanted to be centered because every other button on the page is centered. So I'm now in the back end, the editing part of the site, and I'll show you what the problem was. I was clicking on the button. I'm thinking, okay, where is the center feature? What happened to it? It's like it was always there. And it was strange because if I clicked on any other block, up came a center feature. So it's like, okay, well, how am I going to bring up this block? Well, the trick is if you click just to the right of the button, suddenly you will get this bounding box. And the minute you get this bounding box, look what shows up. Your alignment feature shows up. So I just click center, update, that's it. And the next thing I want to show you is the anchor link. And now there again, all of these buttons are not only in the right position, thankfully, but they also, now watch what happens. When I click on how to be listed here, as you can see, the page scrolls and it comes down to this section here, how to be listed. It does get a little blocked off when you're in the editor because you have the editor bar which other people won't see, but just know that it is going to be taking them right there. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the back end of this page. I'm going to go to Edit Page. And now from Edit Page, even though your visitor will start at the button and be bumped down, you don't start there. Instead, scroll down to where you want them to jump to first. And it happens to be this area here. So what you do is you click on the text and do not click the link button here. Instead, you're going to go over to the right hand side where it says block. So we are, you know, we're working with this block in particular. And you'll be looking for this tab, this field called advanced and when you open it up you will see something called HTML anchor and so what I did I typed in how to be listed and I also wanted to mention to you that when you have an anchor link and an anchor tag there can be no spaces in between the words so I happened to type in how space and as you can see it gave me a dash to space b space listed and there are dashes in between these which were automatically added by wordpress 
So once you name your anchor, on, again, it's under advanced and HTML anchor, you'll then copy this. And the reason why I recommend copying it is because the link names have to be exact because now I'm going to tell the button where I want this to be linked. It has to be the exact words or it's not going to link. So now I'm going to go back up to where I want it to begin and it's the button. So I click on the button and then I do click on the link because I'm telling it to link to this particular area in the page. So what I'll do after I select the button and click link, I'm going to put a pound sign in and then simply paste in what I copied below. Hit apply and then update. And I'm going to check my work. Click on it and there it goes. So I'll do this again to review. So I'm going to do the thermography button. Instead of doing the button first, I go down to the page that has where I want. I hit on thermography and then I go to my advanced feature in the block and type in thermography. I'm going to copy this, edit copy, update this, and then I'm going to go to the thermography button, click on the button, click on the link, and in the link field type in the pound sign first and then paste in the word thermography, hit apply or submit, update, and check my work. Looks great. Thank you for joining me today on 10 Minute Monday. If you are viewing this video from my website or from YouTube and you would like to come to my free trainings, please go to my website, fieldsgraphicdesign.com, fill out the form at the top of the page, and you'll not only get an invitation to join me live, you'll also receive a list of my favorite free resources for great photography that you can use on your website or in any project. Also, when you join me live on 10 Minute Monday, you'll be able to ask a question about the training or even about your own website. So I hope to see you on my next 10 Minute Monday. Bye for now.